Alrighty, welcome back boys and girls. It's your main map man, Mr. Dan, coming to you live from Mayfield. In this video, I'm going to be working on that IXL section F17. And what it's trying to do is it, you're trying to see, okay, we're going to take those square roots of those numbers and you have to make sure you include both the positive and negative square root. So what that means is this, you always want to evaluate that square root first. And so we're going to say, okay, we're going to take the square root of 100. So we're going to take the square root of 100 and make sure you can say, hey, I want to make it look exactly like it does in what I see. So I have the square root of 100 is 10, and make sure you include that negative on the outside. So I have negative 10. I'm trying to get to that smart score of 80, but I'll probably go to 100 just to show up, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so what is the positive square root of 100? So now we're gonna say, okay, well, the square root of 100, we have the square root of 100, is just 10 for this one. Again, it's just asked for the positive in that last one. However, for this one, it's the negative square root. So what's the square root of nine? Well, we have three and it says, what's the negative square root of it? So we're gonna have that negative in the front. And so we have negative three. What about the negative square root of 25? That's negative five. What about uh, what is the square root of 9? We already know that one. It's 3. What's the negative square root of 64? So we have 64, and then we have the negative in front, and so we have negative, and then 8. And we have the negative square root of 4, so that's negative 2. This one. Uh, this section is super simple. Just make sure you have that square root list or at least that decimus calculator for yourself. So what's the square root of 196? It's 14. All right, so now, again, remember you have that plus and minus sign there. So again, it's saying uh, that means it could be positive or negative. So again, what is the positive or negative square root of 324? And so we're gonna say, all right, Real simply, we're gonna take the square root of 324. All right, so it's gonna be 18, but we know uh, from our instruction, we said that we have to have the positive and the negative uh, integers. So we're gonna say positive 18 and negative 18 are going to be the square roots. So it says, what is the negative square root of 225? Let's check out what that is going to be. So we have negative, oh, let's try that again. Make sure it's on the outside. Make sure it's on the outside and then we can do 225. So it's gonna be negative 15. So what are the positive and negative square roots of uh, 121? So we can say, all right, I need the square root of 121 is 11. So we're gonna say the positive and the negative. So, all right, now we're getting a little, a little bit higher numbers, but it's still gonna be a perfect square. So we can uh, totally evaluate this. And so we have, what is the positive square root of 3,600? It's gonna be 60. So we're just going to say positive 60. Again, make sure you're using that Desmos calculator for those values that are above 400. Speaking of 400, what square root of it? We have 20. So it's just gonna be positive 20 for that one. And it says, what is the positive square root of 1,600? So we have 1,600 is going to be 40. So again, since it's asking for that positive uh, square root, we have to have a positive number. So I'm above 80, but I'm gonna keep going just to see if there's any other challenging parts in here. And so let's see, we have uh, the positive negative square root of 2,500. So we're gonna have positive 50 and negative 50. What about 900? I know it's gonna be 30 and negative 30. Let's see if we can cruise through this. What about uh, 4,900? Well, I know that uh, square root of 49 is seven, and I know that the square root of 100 is 10, so seven times 10 is 70. So I'm gonna say negative 70 and see if that works. Of course it does. What about uh, 10,000? That's going to be negative 100. Let's double check. Always want to make sure I have four zeros there. 
You better believe it. What about 900? That should be at mega 30. Enter in the challenge zone. I am ready. So what is the square roots of 196? This one you should be able to do as well. So I'm going to take 196. I'm going to take the square root of uh, 196 is 14, but I have to make sure it's 14 and negative 14. What about uh, 121? We already know this one. It's positive and negative. Not 22. It's positive and negative 11. What about these square roots of 144? That's a perfect square. So it's going to be 12 and negative 12. What about the square roots of 10,000? We already said this one. It's 100 and negative 100. What about 256? Let's say 256. The square root of 256 is 16 and negative 16. So just make sure you're including both the positive and the negative square roots when it's asking. So see how it says square roots? Again, you have to have both positive and negative. So what about 1600? So we say, we actually already know this one. It was 40. So we said 40 and negative 40. Almost at the finish line. This is going to be 30 and negative 30. Quick math. What about 90 and negative 90 and finally we have 13 and negative 13 did we cross the finish line of course we did make sure you super and that subscribe button